Our first major purchase for our Isuzu NPS 300 truck is the Car Builders Pre-Cut Pack to insulate the cab. Come along with us and see how we went installing it. What have you done so far, Jack? The car builders, stage one sound deadener from first, the entire roof skin. And now we're putting the, call it a van liner. Okay. Put them over the top and then the hood liner will all go back in. And... Yeah, so the van liner's a, like a heat proof. Just a bit of heat. Can't touch both. Okay. <laughs> Big job. A lot of beers involved. <laughs> <laughs> this is the roof lining that was originally in it that we now put back on. Now we've done the van liner. And here and here was all the liner that it originally had. So you can see why it's very noisy. <laughs> Now we're finished with the roof, we're onto the back wall. From factory, it doesn't come with any covering. So with the car builder's kit, we do the stage one sound deadener and then an acoustic pre-cut liner, which we use to spray adhesive both sides and then the stretch carpet, which was quite tricky, but we did get it after lots of massaging. So we have finished the back of the truck. So we did the back wall yesterday and finished it last night. I still have to put the back window in and that came with the stretch carpet. And then we've just finished the back floor. So the first stage one was a pre-cut. No, that was just the sound deadener that we had to cut to fit all the little nooks and crannies. And that was already sticky. And then the next layer is the mass noise liner, which was all pre-cut. We just had to figure out which bit went where and then sprayed it with the glue and popped it in. And then the original vinyl flooring goes on top and it comes with little what are they called jack gypsy clips gypsy clips to go around this engine so that because the extra thickness of the insulation so the clips actually still mechanically work and clip together very good so that will be the next thing and then we're just doing the front now so we've put all the stage one deadener in. So you can see we've made sure we put it everywhere. And you cut it and put in all little bits and shapes. And now our next stage is the mass noise liner, figuring out which bits go where. So it comes with pretty good instructions compared to like the bull bar and the tray and stuff that we did on the ram um so we just have to cut out all these little bits and put them in lucky last was the doors so we removed the door skins and lifted up the plastic and put the stage one deadener inside the doors. It was a bit tricky in the tight space, but we just cut it to fit and got our skinny arms in there and rubbed it all together. You could definitely hear the difference between the spots that had it and didn't. And we are all done. Needs a clean now, but all the sound deadener 
and the mass voice liner and the acoustic acoustic liner on the back and the carpet on the back is all done Woohoo! so next is taking it for a drive to see if there's any difference <laughs> fingers crossed that was two days of hard hard work thank you jack our first test drive after installing the Car Builders Sound Deadener system in our NPS 300. And we are shocked. On our road trip back from Broome, we had to have the music on like full ball and we couldn't hear each other talking and we couldn't hear the kids talking in the back. And we're sitting here going, wow. It was only two guys. days, yeah, you did good. Thanks for watching our install of the Car Builders NPS pre-cut kit. I hope it helped and if you have any questions, don't forget to reach out. We're the five Aussie adventurers, a family of five plus two doggies heading off around Australia soon. We're on Instagram, Facebook and now YouTube. Give us a like or a subscribe. Thanks.